Hey guys, and welcome back to another Sony Vegas tutorial. Now today we're gonna go into basics, how to add text in Sony Vegas. I know it, it must seem a little dumb, but there's probably someone out there that doesn't know how to do it or someone that's new to Sony Vegas that doesn't know how to do it. And you know what? Since we're gonna be doing it, we're gonna be doing it Vegas for Gamer style. So we're gonna make another track and then we're gonna do some other stuff to it just to make it look awesome, right? Not only just adding text, we're gonna do it awesome, right? So Control Shift Q to add a track. And then since this one is blue, it's highlighted, we go up to Insert Text Media. Okay, so click on that. Got some sim some some simple sample text right here. And just write whatever. Um, I don't know. We're gonna write Vegas for gamers. Awesomeness. There we go. That's what we're gonna do. Actually, we're not. Just joking. Just gonna write Vegas for gamers. We're actually just gonna work with the font we have right here, just because. I mean, you can change the fonts right here. This is, this is how you change the font. Just choose whatever font you want. Um, let's see if we can find something that is actually pretty cool. Trojan Pro, I like that one. That's pretty cool. Let's do that one, right? You can change the uh, size right here. If it should be bold. What is that called? Italic? Is that what it's called? Yeah, italic. If it should be to the sides or middle or whatever, doesn't matter. Placement, just where you want it placed. So you don't have to go into the event pan crop and do it. So that's how you do that. Change that with the arrows. You can just click on it once and use your arrow keys to move it about. In here, you can change the, um, the colors and the background color, although that's transparent. You can uh, use uh, the tracking. Tracking is the uh, spacing in between the letters, right? So if I increase that one like that, see? You could actually keyframe this, by the way. Let's do that in a little bit, but now we're just gonna go over the basics. Let's, let's do that, okay? And um, the scaling, you can pretty much just tone up the scale of it. I don't know why you do that when you can just change the font size, but you know, you can do it. Unless deleting, I don't know what that is. I guess that's if you have more than uh, one layer or one line of text, then you can do stuff with this one because it doesn't work when you do it here, as you can see. Double click on it, you reset it. Easy modes, like that, like that. And then under effects, you can add a outline. Now an outline is, a line that is all the way around each letter. So if I enable that, you're gonna see it's yellow and that doesn't really look all that awesome. So let's add another color to it. Let's add a, I don't know, what about a red, dark red? Maybe that's gonna work. Maybe not. Maybe maybe that's a little too sissy-like. Let's pick green. Green, oh my God, that hurts my eyes. Are you kidding me? Dark blue. We're getting there, but I don't know. I, I hate colors sometimes just because they, they can be annoying. And they just, some of them, they, they just pop on the monitor like that. See, I want it to be more dark. I don't know, we should maybe just move it that way. Nope. That almost went pink. That could have been so, so bad. Okay, let's leave it at that for now. Then here you can uh, increase the or decrease the feather and width, a width, if that's what it's called. I don't know, but we're gonna be. Let's change that one. This is something that I normally do. You can change that one to zero point two hundred, right? And do the same thing underneath. Look, look what happens then. Booyah! So what it actually did, let me just, if I increase this to 400, just to overdo it. See, now it's like gliding out. So this is the the feather, I guess, is kind of like, let's increase that like a button as well. See, that makes it, see now it looks like it has a glow to it instead. 
So the width, we put that down to like, if you took the, take the feather down to 50, point zero fifty. See, now there's a lot of like colors going on. So you can make it really, really thick. Let's increase this one like a lot. 800, boom, there you go, right? So that, that's how you increase the thickness of it, right? And the, and the feather makes it kind of, let's put this to like 400, like before. Kind of like shrinks it in, sort of say, right? You can still see the glow still goes out as far as it was before, but it's kind of like, it, it gets like a transparency to it. So that's how you do that. Let's put it down to 200 again. I like it when they're both on 200. Looks cool that way. Or maybe let's make this 300, like that. Nice little glow it has to it. Looks like a glow when it's orange. Now you can also add a shadow. Now when you do that right now, it, it looks like nothing because of the, um, so you can't really tell that I'm putting it on. But if you remove the checkbox here, you can see that it's there because you can see it's kind of dark around it. See? So, uh, but what I normally do is I, you, you can increase the uh, X and Y offsets. So if you have changed this one to like 0 0.150, see, we just moved it out here. So it went out to the side. If we didn't change the Y offset, it'll move it down a little bit. So if we change that one to like 100, like that, maybe even, I don't know, Let's make it a 150, like that. So now you can see that it has a nice shadow going underneath the letters. Looks pretty cool. Normally, if you use a, a little more thick font, it'll look a lot cooler with the with the shadows. Uh, so you could actually maybe you could increase this to 200, a little more out to the side, then decrease this one to like 100. Let's move it up. Uh, I like it 150 and 100. That looks better. Like that. But uh, that's basically how you work with text. Now I wanted to do something else before. Just to just to add a little more something to this tutorial, right? Because I want you to yeah, also you guys that are you know that already knows how to do this, we could do other stuff. So let's do something with the tracking. And let's go down push animate and then have all the letters go like out here. Actually, that's not. How do we do that? We increase it. So let's have all the letters come from out here. And then go one second in. Before I win, we're not one second yet. One second in, add a keyframe. Then go another two seconds in, so into like, that would be three seconds, like that. Add another keyframe, then reset this one. Why it didn't do it, I do not know. Oh, it's because it's not, yeah, I know why it's not doing it. It's because I don't have this one enabled. It's still on the first keyframe. So, before I do anything else, I'm going to drag this one out to the end, just so it's the same length as the actual clip behind. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and then I'm going to make a fade in of one second. Hence why I made the uh, the keyframe one second in, and we're, we're still doing nothing. So it move, exactly at one second, it'll start moving for two seconds. So here, like that, right? So, let's do the exact same thing here at the end. One second offset, like that. And then take that one right there, click right here. I'm just gonna go in here, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick you can do. So go into the effect again, or into the, uh, the text again, by clicking up top, the one up top there. Generated media. Click on that, right there. And then, we're only getting like four seconds in here and I don't get why. I guess it's because we started adding all this stuff before. So now it's actually just, why is it doing this? I don't get this. 
shouldn't be doing this. Let's remove all the keyframes again. And I'm not allowed to for some odd reason. Delete the keyframes. Okay, so let's go into the generated. Oh, I get, I get it, I get it. I think I get it. I'm not sure, but I think I get it. Yeah, we can only do stuff to it here at the beginning for some odd reason. Let's just do it anyways. Because we just want it to go in and then fade out at the end. So that's fine. So one second in when there's nothing happening. See, that's the fade in. So one second. Add the keyframe again. So nothing's still happening. Go two seconds in. Actually, let's have it have that go a little slower. Let's go to all the way to the, the end in five seconds. Have it go for four seconds or so. Like that. Add another keyframe. And then go into the properties here. Now that's set to 2000 all the way, which is a little weird, but we're just gonna take this one, that one, and then this one, and then change that one back to like that. And apparently it wants to copy the whole thing. So let's just move this one back to like that, and then to like that, I guess. This is acting really weird. I don't know why. Oh, it's because it loops over here again. Like that. Take this clip. Hold down control, drag it. Just want a new copy and then do like this. Go in here again and then remove these. Uh, delete. Push delete. That one. Into properties. Like that. So now we've kind of reset the whole thing right here. And then control and drag. Makes another copy. Say yes. If you create a reference, it'll, if you make changes to one, it'll make changes to the other as well. So just do it like that. Like that. And then make the fade out. Alongside with the footage. The footage in the background here is Aliens vs Predator, by the way. Just in case anyone was wondering. Let's have a look at how this how this actually looks. I started moving really slow there. Oh, it looks fine. See, you have everything moving in. It's lagging a little bit here because it's doing all this stuff. Well, it looks pretty cool, right? Then we could have added some effects to it, like the, the outline and, and some shadows as well. But yeah, guys, that's it. I'm not gonna toy around with this and make the video any longer. Uh, I just wanted to add a little extra something something to it. So, easy modes, go up to uh, insert, text media, then you get a text media, you know, easy modes. But yeah, if you like the video, guys, uh, please give it, a, give it a thumb up down below and leave me a comment. Share the video with your friends because that helps me out a lot. It helps me grow the channel. And uh, take care, have fun, see you all in the next one.